Central Florida at Cincinnati game is brought to you by the Gold Sheet, the nation's longest running sports betting publication. Guys, we got AAC matchup Friday night light style. We got UCF minus four total of 60 here in Hibbert Stadium in Cincinnati. And I'll tell you, this is a key matchup in the AAC 8 p.m. Eastern start on ESPN Friday night lights action. Uh, Ralph Michaels at Cal Sports LV. Start off with you first. How are you looking to bet the uh, Knights and the Bearcats? You know, I have not decided yet. Uh, you know, it's a game where I think there's more pressure on this game than most because it's really a group of five elimination game because the winner could easily go on to become the group of five New Year's Day Bowl participant. Mm -hmm. No question. I mean, they are both that good. They are two of the top three teams throw Memphis in the mix and, you know, Temple playing there. But, uh, you know, you have a defensive minded Luke Fickle team. You have a UCF team that's been historic what 30 straight games of 30 points, you know, in that role. But then you also have a UCF team that lost their last road game going to Pittsburgh. And this is the best defense they faced. But on the flip side, you know, Cincinnati has faced Ohio State, which I would say is a little better on offense. But what happened? They gave up 45 points in a shutout. So I go back and forth and you play the game out, you know, as they play the game out in my head, no one has stopped UCF getting to 30 points. So let's say UCF gets to 30. Can Cincinnati get to 27? Yeah, I think so. You know, Ritter's been good enough and he has that ratio. Um, so, you know, it's a game where I think it's a correlated parlay game and a live betting situation. If you like Cincinnati, no question, I think you're going to like the under. If you like UCF, you're going to like the over. And I think I very well may be watching this game looking to live bet who has the halftime lead because then they can control the pace in the second half. That makes a lot of sound sense, Ralph. We also have uh, Bruce A. Marshall on Twitter, at Bruce A. Marshall uh, from the Gold Sheet. What are you thinking here with Cincinnati and, and UCF, Bruce? Well, you know, first of all, let's hope that Cincinnati wears those uniforms they wore against Miami. Oh, that was back to Greg Cook style, late 60s. They're wearing the, the white blacks. Ones. They're wearing all blacks. They're going all blacks. Yeah. I, yeah, all right. I wish they went back to the late 60s look. That's what they wore against Miami. Oh. But I'll tell you, here's what bothers me about Cincy. Ralph's right about a lot of the points in this game and the in-game stuff. I, I think definitely that, that you'd want to look at it here. Cincinnati can play only one way. Cincinnati likes to run at you. They like to dominate you physically, and they don't deviate much from that. I mean, Coach Fickle even tried that against Ohio State. It didn't work. And guess what? It doesn't work against uh, UCF either. At least it hasn't the last two years. Cincinnati is about a two-to-one run-to-pass ratio. That works fine against teams they can bully. It worked against Marshall last week. Ralphie, that might have been their best game they've played. No question. Marshall coming off the, off the bye as well. Incredible game. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they physically beat up Marshall last week. But you know what? That doesn't always work against a team like UCF. And they'll fall behind. This is exactly what's happened the last couple of years against UCF. They've fallen behind. They haven't been able to catch up. Last year, they ran about 2-1 to one in this game, too. And UCF just kept extending the lead. Like Ralph said, UCF has scored 30 or more, or 31 or more in what, its last 30 of its last 31 games. And uh, the, the point spread mark is very good. They've got three quarterbacks they can use uh, now that Mac is back as well. Gabriel's been great, the freshman. They've got Wynn Bush, the Notre Dame transfer. They play at a faster pace than Cincinnati. And I don't think Cincinnati's going to keep pace. So Gold Sheet had it 38-26 uh, UCF. We're going to lay the points, actually. You know, just like UCF needs more offensive weapons, with Mac back, they are now moving Wimbush to wide receiver. Oh, okay. And that just gives them another threat. I mean, you have the Notre Dame transfer now. He, he's been practicing at wide receiver, just giving them more weapons on the offensive there's, side. There's teams, so. with, there's teams with no quarterbacks, and these guys have three. So yeah. they're overloaded, uh, embarrassment of riches there. And, uh, you know, I think they'll outclass since you again. Absolutely. Okay, I'm with you guys. I, I, I like UCF as well. It's a tough team to fall behind as well. So get the nation's longest-running sports betting publication, The Gold Sheet, for just $9. You will receive details, analysis, write-ups, stats, more on every college and pro game this week. Download the gold sheet now at wagertalk.com or sportsmemo.com.